In this video, we're going to go over a couple things. We're going to go over customizing routes, but then we're also going to get into nesting with routes. So you can see from our last video, we have our task controller, and this is all set up. I'm going to close out of this and go into our routes. When we created the controller, you can see it added these three routes right here, uh, but I'm going to get rid of these and we're going to have a new one. Now if we were just going to leave tasks by themselves, the way we would do that is we could combine these and say resources and make tasks a symbol and then say accept and then pass in index. Okay, so what's going to happen here is we're going to say that all of the items, all the route items, just like we had with projects, that's all going to be the same except for the fact that we're going to have uh, no index action because I really don't care about an index action because we don't want to see all the tasks uh, at the same time. So that's perfectly fine. But now one change I want to make here is I actually want to put in some nesting. And what nesting means is, uh, think about this, you have project A right now and project A has task one, task two, and task three. The problem is right now we have projects and then we have tasks and we've created a database connection but in all reality we won't ever have a task that doesn't belong to a project in the way that I set this up and in kind of the way that this application has it for a requirement. So I don't really ever want the tasks to be by themselves, which means that for the routes, I don't want to have it like this where I have resources tasks because then what this is going to do is it's going to give us routes like this. It's going to be, you know, dot com slash task slash one to get to a specific uh, to get to a specific task, what I want to have more is something like .com slash projects slash five slash tasks slash two. So the second task for the fifth project. And so that way we kind of have a nested hierarchy where we can see all of the different uh, all the different tasks associated with a project and it makes a little bit more sense from an organizational point of view. So the way to do this is I'm going to cut this out and come down to our resources projects and this actually has the ability to be a code block. So I'm going to say resources projects do and then paste in resources tasks except index and then the only other thing I have to add is a controller and so for this controller this is going to be projects slash tasks and the last thing that I would need to change right here is to move and create a new directory and for this one I'm going to say projects and then all I have to do is move this task controller file right here and move tasks controller into projects. So right here I'll be able to uh, do this and that way we're not having a, uh, a tasks at the root of the controller application. They're actually going to be nested inside of projects which is what we're wanting. So this is just one of the changes that we can make and then from here after, uh, after we've put this in projects then we can go and do the same exact thing on the view side. So, um, and for some reason or another, my mouse isn't wanting this to happen. So I'm going to change uh, and just move it via the uh, via the command line, which is actually a really good thing for you to get in the practice of. So I'm going to CD into app, so we can see everything there. CD into controllers, see everything here, and then I'm just going to say I want to move the task controller into projects and then you have to give the name so tasks controller dot rb okay and that looks like it uh, worked okay and make sure I'm 
Okay, I'm back at the root of the application, and if I come back here, you can see Task Controller is now inside of Projects. And if we go to Sublime Text, you'll see the same thing. So there you go, you got a free little move uh, via the terminal lesson for free. Um, okay, so now that we have this, in the next video, we're gonna get into how to set up our views and have those nested under Projects in the same way that we did with our routes and with the controller.